This morning, as I welcome you in the morning moments with Jesus, I've been reading in Daniel chapter 3 this morning a very familiar story to all of us. Some of us may have grown up with this story. It's the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. And I always, when I read this story, I try to find something new that uh, God would speak to me on that subject because sometimes we get into a habit of if we know a story really well we'll just kind of breeze through it without really seeing what God has for us in this season in our lives and this morning as I'm reading this I'm I'm beginning to understand the process of going through the heat uh, in heated situations or going through the fire in some of our painful situations that we go through in life and I want to read this to you this morning and, and kind of uh, elaborate on what God is really speaking to us this morning. In Daniel chapter 3, I'm going to pull some verses out beginning in verse number 20. We know King uh, Nebuchadnezzar has thrown them, or getting ready to throw them into the fiery furnace because they would not bow to him. And it says in verse number 20, And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast in the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound, in the midst of the fiery furnace. That's twice now that the Lord has said, in the midst, or in the middle of the fire. In verse number 25, it says, He answered and said, talking about King Nebuchadnezzar, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. That's the third time he talks about being in the middle. And they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. So this morning, God wants me to ask you a question that he's been asking me as I read this. Do you find yourself in the middle of change, in the middle of a process, in the middle of becoming something new? Perhaps you're in the middle of a storm, or even in the middle of the fire yourself. I'm here to tell you this morning that whatever you're in the middle of right now, God is right there in the middle with you. We all find ourselves feeling the heat of going through heated situations in our lives from time to time. And eventually you will have to move from point A to point B. And the only way to get from point A to point B is to go through the middle. Sometimes it's a painful place to be. But a process that we cannot ignore and we cannot escape. Because listen, God shows up in these places. And he shows us our desperate need for him even when we're feeling the heat. Typically when we find ourselves in this position, if we're honest, we beg God to do everything in His power to get us out of that position. Mainly because we're uncomfortable, it's unwanted, and it's often very painful. But I think God is more concerned with increasing our faith than He is with rescuing us from all of our uncomfortable situations the very situations that will, in fact, increase our faith. You see, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego got thrown into the fiery furnace, there were many that may have expected God to rescue them from that fire. But God didn't do the expected. How many of you would witness this morning? He rarely does what we expect. He does the supernatural in our lives. Remember, his ways and his thoughts are higher than ours, Isaiah says. So God promises that even when we go through the fire, we will not get burned. But he does not promise that we won't feel the heat. See, instead of rescuing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fire, God saw the fire as a means to display his faithfulness to them. And therefore allowing his servants to stay where they could feel the heat because the process of the fire purges us and brings us out 
more holy and more faithful to God. So if God has you feeling the heat right now, and you're starting to feel the pressure, maybe you're starting to feel the tension. I'm here to tell you this morning, don't give up. Trust that this pain will produce a purpose. And this heat will ultimately produce holiness. It is in the heat that God produces the greatest miracles in our lives. What if the miracle you have been begging for is actually found in the middle of your current situation? Let me say that to you again this morning. Because that's what God has been telling me this morning. What if the miracle that you've been asking me for, God says, is going to be found right in the middle of your current heated situation? King Nebuchadnezzar orders for the heat of the furnace. Go back and read that story. To be increased seven times greater than it was because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to him. Scripture says a fourth man appeared in that furnace with the three that were originally thrown in. A fourth man? (laughs) King Nebuchadnezzar was in utter confusion because he only threw three men in the furnace. Who could that fourth man be? Catch this. God didn't get Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego out of the fire. God was in the middle of the fire with them. Sometimes God's ways of rescuing us is not merely taking us out of a heated situation, but instead being with us as we endure the heated situation. So the enemy would love for you to believe this morning that difficult situations always equals the absence of God, but that's a lie. Even in our difficulties, God is never dormant, and He's never absent. God's presence is always in the process. Believe that. It's in the heat that God's faithfulness is proven. It's in the heat that God's glory is put on display. And it's in the heat that God proves His character and His great love for you. So this morning, you be safe. You be strong. You be blessed. You be that person today that even though you feel the heat, go through the process. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is right there in the middle with you. Remember where he was on the cross of Calvary. That's right. He was right there in the middle. I pray you have a great day today. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. God bless you.